Ladies and gentlemen, demons and demonettes, get ready for Hell's number one game show, The Devil Show. Forgive me, Father, for I have seen so much pain and suffering. Is there any hope for me? Forgive me, Father, for I am lost. And all the trouble I have caused Now what will become of me? I went down to the river I went down But the river was dry Went down to the river And when I closed my eyes I saw a devil walking in the daylight A devil, a devil in the daylight And he sings hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to me And he sings And now please give a round of applause for your host with the most the Prince of Darkness, the Sultan of Sin, the man with the forked tongue and the golden voice, the Devil! I lay down, till the morning I lay down. I lay down, till the morning comes to carry me away. Good evening everybody and welcome to everyone's well, mine at least, favorite show. How are you all doing tonight? Well, isn't that lovely? Now, for our new viewers out there, this isn't your mama's game show, although your mama's probably watching. This is a show where we take some unsuspecting sap off the street upstairs and we... Walk in there. That's right, everybody. And now, let's meet our contestants. And why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, young lady? Uh... Hi, um, I'm Jennifer Gilbert, um, I'm 23 years old, I'm from Akron, Ohio, and I've been dead for two years. And tell us, Jennifer, how did you die? Um, suicide. Suicide? Well, with a face like that, who can blame you? <laughs> <laughs> and how about you, sir? My name's Damien, 30 years old, from Detroit, Michigan, and I've been dead for seven months. Let me guess. Yachting accident? <laughs> ah, man. Drive by. Drive by, of course. Well, tell me, did you get the license plate number? <laughs> <laughs> now, Jennifer and Damien, as I said earlier, every night on The Devil Show, we pick one person from upstairs and we try to drive them off the deep end. Just your typical average Joe with some kind of compulsion. Maybe a gambler, an alcoholic, a nymphomaniac. And tonight, we've chosen... A smoker! His name is John Alcott, everybody, and he's a 42-year-old sales manager from Boston, Massachusetts. John is your typical chain smoker, but not only does he constantly smoke, but he smokes everywhere. He smokes in the shower, he smokes in the car, he smokes before sex, he smokes after sex, and he smokes during sex. And I'm pretty sure he smokes while he's asleep. And what are we going to do? Take his cigarettes away! Boy, I love you guys. That is correct. We're going to take his cigarettes away. Now, it's up to our contestants to bet and see how long he lasts before losing it. Jennifer, you won the coin toss. So what do you think? Will he make it until midnight? Um. Um, I, I think I'm going to go with it. Yes, Mr. D. Well, there you have it, folks. The field is set. Damien, remember, if John flips his lid before midnight, you win. If not, Jennifer gets the prize. Asmodeus, tell us what the prize is. Well, ladies and gentlemen, our lucky winner tonight will have a chance at a promotion. Back to the land of the living. That's right, if everything works out, one of you will be sent back to Earth as a wandering spirit. You'll spend the rest of eternity walking the earth, haunting the living. You won't be able to touch, smell, or taste anything, and nobody will be able to see you 
apart from the occasional creepy little child, of course. <laughs> How does that sound, folks? Yeah! Now remember, contestants, each one of you gets one chance at the interference play, so use it wisely. Is everyone ready? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. And now we'll be back after a word from our sponsor, me. Without further ado, take it away, Johnny boy. Yes, I know. Okay, you know what? I'll, I'll call my boss. I'll tell him we don't really need to do this project tonight. I would love to go. I would love to go. What? So why don't you just have Jared drive him then? <sighs> Fuck. No, not you. Listen, tell Robbie I will be at the next game, okay? I promise. I just said. Fuck you too. Ex-wife? Ex-wife. You know, you ain't looking so good there, bud. Dude, I haven't had a cigarette since six o'clock this fucking morning. And I just had to tell my ex-wife that I'm not gonna make it to Robbie's hockey game tonight. Why not? We should be finished with the Shanghai pitch at like six. Okay. Yeah, that uh, that might be better than kids hockey. Right? I'm picking her up at 10. Robbie's team plays two games a week. I love him. He's not that good. He's not gonna score. Me? That's fair. All I gotta do is find a goddamn cigarette. How many cigarettes do you smoke a day anyway? Like packs? I guess, yeah. Three, maybe four? Four. You smoke four packs a day. Yeah. Okay, 20 in a pack, that's 80 a day times seven, that's 560 in a week? Okay. Okay, times four, that's 2,240 in a month times 12. Dude, you smoke like 27,000 cigarettes a year. Which point? I'm just saying, but you know, I'm sure you could quit whenever you want, right? Why the hell would I want to do that? I don't know. Maybe because you look like you've been stuck on a desert island for That's me. why I need a goddamn cigarette. All right. Your funeral, pal. Anyways, we still on for tomorrow? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, do I need to bring anything? Just yourself. Gary's looking forward to seeing you. All right. I'm going to let you get back to work. Chew some gum or something. Ugh. Gum? Hey, hey, Paul, is there, is there something in uh, something in my eye, like right about, like right here, maybe? Hey, yo, was um, oh, I got no idea. Uh, let me get a pack of Winston's, please. Winston? Least, yeah, Winston's or Marlboro's, whatever, uh, whatever you got. Mm. Okay, language barrier. I need a pack of Winston cigarettes. Cigarettes? Sorry. Is this, uh, this is your first day here? Okay. All right, do me a favor. Uh, say, uh, say hello to the other woman for me when you see her. Hello. Just like that, perfect. Hello. Is every convenience store in town hiring interns now? What? 
Nothing. How you doing? How's your day? Fine. That makes one of us. Need a pack of Winston's, please. Sorry? Pack of Winston's? I'm sorry, I, I don't know what that is. I speak in French here? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, so then what's the problem? Uh, I don't know what the problem is. I have no idea what you're asking for. Would it help if I wrote it down? Are you, do you read? Uh, yeah, I just don't know. Never heard of... You've never heard of Winston's? Nope. How about Marlboro's? Huh? Lucky Strikes, Cools, Camels, frickin' Pall Malls? Listen, I don't know what you're... Do you have any goddamn cigarettes? Cigar... Are you, are you speaking French now? Are you telling me I've run into the only two people in the world who don't know what cigarettes are? Can we just relax are? a little bit, man? Maybe if, maybe if you describe it. Describe it? It's a cigarette! Yeah? Okay, I, I can't believe I gotta do this one. country we live in where teenagers don't know what cigarettes are. Sir. Sir, are you alright? Yeah, everything is fine. Don't, don't worry about it. I got some cigarettes at home. Paul, you fucking prick. I don't know how you did it. I'm really impressed. In one gas station to stop selling cigarettes? Amazing. Two? Genius. Hacking my phone? Fucking master strong. But now, I'm home and it looks like you and your little elf have been here too and you stole my cigarettes out of my apartment. I am gonna get even with you for this someday, my friend. It may not be today, it probably won't be this week, but it will happen. Talk to you later. sound like an insane question. Do you guys sell cigarettes? Cigarettes? You too? Me too what? This is getting significantly less funny. What's funny? It's cigarettes, man, okay? I know you hid them. For the love of Christ. Just knock off the bullshit. Sell me any pack of cigarettes. I don't even fucking care about the brand. Look, I don't know what you're talking about. Cigarettes, Lawrence. Cigarettes. I think I hid the cigarettes. I don't think you hid them. I know you hid them. And you guys are starting to screw with my night. And who are you talking to up there? <laughs> like you don't know. Hey, Paul? Paul, you want to let the employee of the month get back to business now? So it's Paul that's up in the camera. Who else would it be? <laughs> oh, oh, this is good. This is funny. Good, great. One of us is having a good night. Hey, you come in here and I... What? Here's, here's what I want for you. I want you to sell me a pack of cigarettes. Then I don't know what to tell you. Okay, you know what? Do you have a manager? Sure. Maybe you can go get him? Absolutely. Manager! Manager to the front desk, please. Yep. What's going on? This guy wants to buy some cigarettes. What the hell is a cigarette? I have no idea. Do we carry them? Cigarettes. Fucking cigarettes. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Okay, language. Let, let's watch oh, it, please. Is that... Is that how it's gonna be? That's fine. Your jackass employee here refuses to sell me a pack of fucking cigarettes. You can't just come in here and start calling my employee a jackass, insulting him. Hell, I can't. There's no way they're paying you guys enough for this. Calm down. Ca calm. Right, calm. Let's, let's I'm calm the one down. who's not being calm? Okay. We'll calm. We'll calm down. We'll calm down. Why don't you explain to me exactly what it is you're looking for? Explain a cigarette to you. Please. Okay. Let me explain cigarettes to you. You get a nice tube of white paper, about yay big. You get some tobacco, you know, you know tobacco, you chop it up real fine, you put the tobacco into the tube, you twist off the ends, 
Put it in your mouth. You light it on fire. Light your mouth on fire. Don't let your fucking mouth on fire. You light the cigarette on fire. Then you inhale the smoke. Why would you want to inhale smoke? It fucking feels good. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Jennifer has rung her buzzer. Does this mean what I think it means? Uh, yes, sir. I want to use my interference plate. And is that your final decision? Yeah. I, I, I think. I think so. Yeah. All right. Let's see how it goes. All right, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, okay? I will give you all the fucking money in my wallet, okay? If you can just... or nicotine cessation program or some nonsense? Corporate anti... What? Uh, I will buy whatever fucking lozenges or pills or patches or whatever the fuck tomorrow. Just make them stop. Stop what, John? Where are the cigarettes, Paul? Where are the fucking cigarettes? Where are the fucking cigarettes, John? Cigarettes? The fuck is a cigarette? Oh, fuck you! And it looks like Damien has finally decided to use his interference play. Leaving it a bit late, aren't we? What can I say? I have to play close. And is that your final decision? Hell yeah! All right. I'm 
so I'm, I'm, very, I'm so sorry. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we have a winner, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, Damien. Better luck next time, but oh yeah, there isn't a next time. <laughs> <laughs> Good, Mr. D. Would you like to spin the big wheel? Uh, yeah. I think so. Well, don't keep us waiting, Jenny baby. Jen, staying down here isn't all that bad, is it? If I didn't know any better, I might be offended. <laughs> oh, wait just a minute, folks. The show isn't quite over just yet. Cigarette? One of you has the cigarettes. Who it? No. You! Cigarette, you got him! You got him! You got him! No. Jesus Christ, lady! Watch where you're going, asshole! Fucking women drivers! Uh-oh. They never do totally make it, do they? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give a big warm welcome to our guest of honor, John Alcott. Did you hear them, Johnny Boy? Ah, oh, wait a minute. I knew this was a gag. Where's Paul? Paul? <laughs> You're right. In a way. Unfortunately, probably not the way you want. Take a look at the screen behind you. What the f Yeah, I know. <laughs> Run over in the street. What can I say? The classics are classics for a reason. But yes, J-Man, I'm afraid you've shuffled off the old mortal coil. No more tender dates for you, boyo. Oh. <laughs> Mike? Four. Five. Am I dead? As Disco. Who are you? Well, I'll give you a clue. Look around you, John. Do you see any fluffy clouds? Guys with big white wings? Do you hear any harp music? Jesus Christ. Not quite. <laughs> oh, fuck. Fuck indeed, my friend. Fuck indeed. <laughs> but listen here, Johnny. It's not all bad news. You see, you've made it past midnight, despite the best efforts of our little game. And that means... One more chance! You hear that, John? That means you get a second chance upstairs. Please do try not to screw it up. What? You know what, thank you. Would be nice. Thank you? Don't mention it. Now, get your ass back upstairs! I'm sure I'll be seeing you again sooner. Or later. <laughs> Salvo paramedic one S seven respond four oh three Mystic Gav outside the gas station for pedestrian struck. Medic one one seeing steep car on progress. I got no pulse. No pulse. One, two. 
Fourteen. Fifteen. Can you hear me, John? <coughs> You're back. Everything is going to be fine. No, I, 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 no, I can't. I can't feel. We're taking on a mass general. How does it look? Can't tell for sure, but I'd bet a hundred bucks he's next broken. And another hundred, he'll never walk again. Better than dead, I guess. Yes. You guys ready? Let's go. Okay, Ms. Ferrer, did you say the gentleman left your shop immediately before the accident? Yeah. Second time he came in tonight, actually. First time he was real weird. Didn't recognize me. He even asked me if it was my first day. Like I don't see him all the time. But this time, he was crazy pissed. And he started acting racist. What makes you say he was being racist, man? What makes me say? Well, he caught me right back. I'm not even from Mexico, I'm from Brazil. Racist and, and stupid. You shouldn't be talking to people like that. But it, it's weird. He always seems to be a pretty nice guy. So you said you'd met this gentleman before today? Yeah. He comes in every night. He always buys cigarettes. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Be sure to check back at this time tomorrow. And now, stay tuned for Nightly News with Lucifer. Hey, that's me.